Hi, I'm Jeff from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. I'd like to welcome to our September new products video. Our first new products for the 66 to 77 Ford Bronco the Gen 1s. If you're doing a restoration, and your license plate brackets not good, there's a solution. This is from United Pacific Products. It's a black matted finish, so you can leave it, bolt it right on the truck like this, or you could scuff and paint it to body color. So that's what I like. It gives you an option. We have all the parts for it, the spring, the light, everything. We also have this in stainless, but brand new, black powder coated from United Pacific Products, the 66 to 77 Ford Bronco license plate bracket. And our next two products for the Gen 1 Bronco, 66, 77, and the 64 to 72 pickup. It's this black powder coated tailgate handle, handle assembly. What's nice about this, it's got a black powder coat finish to it. So if you wanna install it on your Bronco or pickup, it's ready to go. It gives you the backing plate, the new handle, the bolt, and the mounting bracket for the tailgate rods in the back. It also comes with this nice heavy duty rubber gasket for the rear of it. So if you wanna just put the black on, you just pick it out of the box, bolt it right on your truck. Or if you wanna scuff and paint it to match, that's another option. Brand new for the 66 77 Bronco and the 64 to 72 pickup, this black powder coated tailgate handle assembly. And our next new product is this rear cup holder. This is for the 2021 Bronco two and four door plus. Ford didn't put one behind the console, so AIG solved this. It's a nice convenience product, brand new, heavy duty steel construction plate, powder coated, goes right in the stock mounting holes, screw it right down in place, and give you this heavy duty plastic cup holder. What's nice about this, this is removable. So it has two locating pins on the bottom here. You just line those up when you put it down, it's got a strong magnet. So this gets dirty, you can pop it out, throw it in the dishwasher, just take it out and wash it. Brand new for the 2021 Plus Bronco rear cup holder. Our next new products from AIG Products, it's this full step. I know we did the last month, we did the little steps, but I bought a set of these big steps and these are really wonderful. Really easy to construction. You get the one bracket on there, heavy duty steel construction, it's all black powder coated, anti-slip material on it. Basically, it's really simple to do. You get your truck, you slide on over here, kind of line it up, right in place. And there it is. She's on the truck. Underneath, Got this Allen head here. You run the run the jam nut in. The ran the uh, the threaded threaded rod in. Tighten it down with your uh, Allen head. On the jam nut down. Half inch wrench. Tighten her down. Good to go. Over here, got an adjusting bracket which you leave loose. Two screws. Use your Allen head on that. Crank it down. Take your half inch wrench. Tighten the jam nut down and it's done. That simple. Took me all about a minute and a half to put it on. What's really nice about this one is, go to step in and do it. You can put one foot here, grab your handle here Another foot here, right inside. Real simple to get in. And if you have a roof rack, just grab a hold of your door handle up here, step right up on here. Really simple. It's nice on this if you've got a Susquatch package, these tires throw a lot of rocks. It also gives you rock protection for your doors. Rocks come off here, we hit the bottom, we'll give you any stone chips on there. Brand new. Full length for the 2021 Plus Bronco. This is a two door version. We also have a four door version, which is longer. Brand new for EIJ products. And for a September web truck of the month, we have the 1974 Stone Suit Project. What this project is, we partnered with Bill Brown Ford and WCSX Radio. They do a benefit, they're raffling this Bronco off for $10 a ticket. The drawing is on September 8th. We put the drivetrain together on this uh, basically in a day and a half. It's got a 347 cubic inch, 420 horse motor in it. Uh, brand new rear axle, rebuilt front, transfer case, so on. And we got the body back 
from the paint shop. We put the top half assembled in six days. So this truck's running. Basically, it's a turnkey thing. Uh, got a lot of nice features in it, Corbo seats, protofab bumpers. But I'll let you watch the video. Doug and Frank can tell you more about it. Well, it's a 1974 Bronco. It was donated by Bill Brown. He, uh, they were the biological parents to this thing. It was going to be produced, uh, or actually restored, two years ago for Best Returning Home. But with the pandemic, that delayed it. And of course, they did not continue at that point. So they heard about the WCSX Stone Sioux project, looking for a vehicle to be donated for this year's project. And Bill Brown stepped up in a huge way, a very huge way. So Bill Brown took, uh, you know, we partnered up with Bill Brown, Bill Brown and uh, WCSX. They did all the body work, they did all the painting of this product and, uh, and came out with this gorgeous truck, of course. They've got just a tremendous investment in it. So Bill Brown is, is very huge in, in regards to the project. We thank him very much. When I uh, found out that they were doing this, they needed a means of transportation for go from shop to shop. I work for SBA Logistics, so we signed up and we move it from each event uh, with one of our tow vehicles and support the team whatever way we can. So uh, we've got veterans in my family. I am not a vet, but uh, I of course have uh, the utmost uh, respect for veterans and any current serving service members. Uh, it's just a charity that uh, is close to my heart for the men and women that uh, sacrifice way more than you can imagine to, uh, to protect our country. So it's uh, very close to me and very personal as well. We've been leaning on Jeff Bronco Graveyard to uh, basically assemble this vehicle. We've had 10 days to go from a shell to a completed vehicle, completed running vehicle, which in the restoration world is just unheard of. And um, we rely on, of course, all his employees to help out when they can. You know, they do have a day job, so they're volunteers. They're not being paid. So between them and then Frank came on board and uh, helped us a lot. I mean, it was just a great team effort. And uh, here we go. There it is. Stereo is a personal thing for me because, uh, you know, I thought, you know, I've done many stone suit projects for the station before. This is the first one that we've had the ability to actually for me, I have the ability to actually select the stereo. So since it's an open air vehicle, and since I'm a boater, there's boat uh, stereo systems which are just out of this world. So <laughs> I translated that to the Bronco, and we have all JBL, you know, uh, marine audio equipment, amplifiers, fusion uh, stereo heads, which is all waterproof, by the way. So if you leave the top off, we're good. But it bangs. We just, <laughs> I love it. That's my personal thing. So. That's an understatement. That's my, that's my favorite part. <laughs>